What's up there guys, this is Chris from VFX On and in this tutorial I'm gonna be uh, doing something that I uploaded quite a while back but um, I'm gonna only show now how to do it. Um, and this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. So it's a pretty basic and easy paper folding effect that I did a really really long time ago and well um, in this tutorial I'm not gonna show you how to make this uh, light switch which was done in Photoshop but I'm just only gonna show you the basic way of making this paper fold effect so let's get into making it um, so now I'm in After Effects and well I already made my composition so for this tutorial I'm gonna use a letter L and you can use uh, you can use your Photoshop file um, like your logo or anything pretty much because this works with any image in well yeah anything so I'm gonna use the letter L um, so what we now have to do is pre-compose this because we are gonna be using a duplicates of this also turn on the motion blur and the 3d check there so um, and now we have to just cut this into pieces like so and now let's move the anchor point to about like here let's press the R on our Oh, to move the anchor point press Y on your keyboard so you can move it or you can use this tool right here um, and press the on your click the layer and press R on your keyboard to see the rotations so the first rotation for me I'm, I would have to say it's gonna start from the top like so so let's set the keyframe let's move to about like here and let's set the keyframe to zero um, and now let's right click on the last keyframe keyframe assistant and easy in so let's check how does this look looks I would have to say it's okay let's see no 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 why did I make that um, so let's see okay maybe even a little bit farther away so the camera can see that or you can just move this forward and use the opacity to blur to make it invisible at the start and then just make it visible but for this tutorial it's only gonna be basic on how to make it so I'm not gonna do that so now let's duplicate this layer uh, press U on your keyboard and move this forward to here now what we have to do is we have to move these points of our mask to about like here like this and then what we do is we move again the anchor point to about like here so now we have let's see I would have to say the next animation should start about like Here maybe. Okay, let's see. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And well, you probably already did get the point of it. It's a lot of duplicating the layers and uh, moving the mask around. So that's pretty much what's this is all about right here um, if you use like some harder letters like W or Y it's gonna be a little struggle but you know you can get it right but it's gonna take more time to do those letters letters than doing for example an easy letter like I'm doing an L right here so just saying so yeah, pretty much I I don't even think I have to do this tutorial further 
as it kind of already seems that you got the point of it. Um, the only kind of struggle that might be, in my opinion, uh, would be with the point that um, you will go at this point. In my opinion, that's gonna be kind of a little struggle. But you can. What I I would do is I would start like I'm starting from the top, and at the same time I would start from this point. So it kind of meets at this point right here. So yeah, um, I think you guys already got the point of it, of this tutorial, how to do it. So I I don't even know if I wanna continue as you already understand how to make this. And <laughs> like what I just did. I made the mask inverted and f totally forgot about it. So, um, also I did not move the mask's point right there. So let's move them to here. Or you can simple simply do like about like this. So, and then just move the anchor point to the place you want. Now let's preview this animation. Well, I would have to say it looks good. Maybe the last part is a little bit off because you can kind of see here the white spot and we I would have to say move a little bit tiny itsy bitsy back maybe even just a little bit back more like so so yeah pretty much guys so pretty much guys uh, th that's it for this easy tutorial um, just how to do it just a basic one on this it's a really really easy way of doing it um, you can do it you don't have to like do it on X, ro X rotation you can do it on Y Z you know any rotation you want just remember to use to move the anchor point and to set the keyframe so and to use mask obviously so yeah that's it for this tutorial guys and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.